Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you something really cool in Microsoft Word. I do this in my Word Level 2 training or Word Intermediate training. Assume that I have a personnel manual and it's 60 pages long. I now only have 9 pages because I copied and pasted from the web to get this on here. I'm going to go to the View tab at the top. And I'm going to turn on the Navigation pane which is located in the Show group. And it basically picks up all the heading styles that I did. So you can quickly go through this document. I just want to show you where my heading styles were. I'm going to turn off the navigation pane. So that particular step is actually not required. I just want to show you where I'm headed with this. So here we go. I want people, when they thumb through the 60 pages, if they printed this out, to quickly tell where they're at. So I'm going to double click in the header. And I have my logo there. It doesn't matter if you have a logo or not. Press the tab key on the keyboard once. You're in Header and Footer Tools Design. Right here in the Insert group is called Quick Parts. Click it once and click the word Filled. Now, listed is every field in Microsoft Word. If it doesn't say All, make it All. Scroll all the way down to the letter S. Click on Style Reference one time and click Heading 1 one time. Click OK. So it put in this very first heading one. I'm going to highlight it. And I don't know what the font size is going to be on your screen, but I would make it either 8, 9, or 10. It doesn't need to be very large. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at 9. Click to the right of it. Press Tab again on the keyboard. Up in the top left, go to Page Number. Do not go to top of page. You'll screw it up. Go to Current Position. And I, and I like this page number, Accent Bar 2. This is truly a matter of preference. Close the header and footer. So now, if I print this 60 pages out for someone, there's my heading 1 on page 1. There it is on page 2 at the top. There it is on page 3. When I go to page 4, I should have a new heading 1 style at the top. And I do. One more test, go to the next page, and there you go. Hopefully that's a great trick. That Once again, that's from my Word Intermediate class. If you need Microsoft, Excel, Word, PowerPoint training, or Outlook, please give me a call. Thank you.